terms, and I thought I'd uh, do a little video on it. I had seen it, I'll make some more up now so you can see exactly what I did, and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, so I actually, I'm not a measurer normally, but what I'll do so that we can get some idea of the measurements, I'll do a couple of, and I've got a fan going here, um, just sort of blowing things around a bit. Let's say two teaspoons of cinnamon. And I'd say, I think I did more like 60-70% um, of, of the uh, sawdust the last time, but I'm just going to go with 50%. So I'll just pop in, get a similar amount here. Please make sure you don't breathe in sawdust, okay? That's very important. All right, now we'll just mix this up together. end of my wooden spoon for this. There we go, it sort of looks pretty even through there. And then I've got my uh, filtered water here. And you actually don't need much water to make a paste. So that's all we're going to do is we just want to make a bit of a paste. Try it just with the one teaspoon. You see it's already starting to clump up. But I'd say with this amount of ingredients we may need a little bit more water. Just take out any impurities. This is obviously something that's some little wood fibre, perhaps. I'm going to add... Um, okay, we'll add one more. Once it starts getting crumbly like this, you can actually get your hands in there and see whether you can start forming you don't want to make it too wet, but at the same time you've got to have the right consistency so that it will stay together and not just crumble. This isn't too bad, actually, but it still may be a little bit dry, so I'm just going to add another half a teaspoon, just a half a teaspoon. This is the thing with the water, add it slowly because then you can always add more. But if you put too much in, obviously, we're uh, just going to have a soggy mess. All right, let's have a go at this. I think that might be a much better consistency. And then what I'm going to do, because I want to make backflow cones for my backflow burner, I'm actually going to have a go at forming it around like the end of this paintbrush. You're probably wondering what the paintbrush was for. Just so that it's got this hole in the middle. I still don't think this is wet enough. So we're going to go with another teaspoon. So, so far I've put in three and a half teaspoons of water. This looks like it's getting a bit clumpier. Probably should have used a bigger bowl. Getting my hands in here is a bit tricky. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, that seems to be holding together better. All right, so as you know, the backflow cones actually have a hole in the middle. So. Let's start getting this in here. You want it to go up as high as possible. You can kind of feel it as you go. And 
And what I'm going to do is down here, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger down the bottom here. So you can see I've got this in here. And I've pushed this up. Let's see how far I've got it. I've pushed it up to that far. So it's almost almost at the top. Because what and what I'm gonna do then is I will I'll put that back in. I'll keep forming it. I'm gonna just nip that top bit off to round this out a little bit. And this helps the smoke to come out the bottom a lot quicker. Otherwise, you know, it's just gonna burn like an ordinary incense cone from the top there for ages. It'll take a while for this for the smoke to come through the bottom. All right, and as I, so I'm just making it a bit bigger down the bottom, like that. We just sort of smooth it out a bit. A little bit of baking paper here to put it on. And there's our first one. It's not pretty, <laughs> but at the same time, it's going to do the job. Now, obviously, we need to let these dry. So I like to put them out in the sun, but then I do live in Queensland, Australia, where it's really quite hot at the moment. So, um, you know, that's going to dry very quickly out there. A lot of people pop it in the oven on low. Um, I'm not sure how long for because I haven't done that that way so all I can say is I put it in the sun to dry out now what I'm going to do is I'll leave this video for now because obviously what you're going to want to see is whether this works or not so once I've got this dried I'll come back and I will light it up and show you and I'll finish making a few more cones ciao for now okay I let my uh, cones dry out in the sun I actually made uh, a couple of them and then I burnt one before but I forgot to press record <laughs> so this is the other one and you can see there's the hole I made in the bottom of it to go over the top of this hole so I'll slip that on there and hopefully this will burn as well as the other one did uh, let's see might, I might have made this one a little bit too big on top now that's fine now I use a jet lighter because I just find that the jet lighter you know, gets it going a lot quicker. Just blow on it a bit. Initially the smoke will come from the top, just like the other cones. But when the burning gets down to the hole that we made, that's when it'll start coming down through here. As you can see, it's still coming out of the top. Here we go, it's starting to come out of here. It'll still come out of the top for a bit. And here it goes, coming down. And as I say, so this is homemade cinnamon back burner cones. I used two teaspoons of cinnamon powder two teaspoons of sawdust, it was pine sawdust, and three and a half teaspoons of water, filtered water. So that was it. And you can make your own incense cones. Obviously, you know, if you're in a colder climate, you might need to dry them in the oven. And I know people do do that. They'll put them in the oven sort of just on a very, very low heat. just uh, blow on it, get it burning a bit more, a bit faster. 
but so easy enough to do. And now I've got this beautiful warm cinnamon smell. Obviously, you've got to like cinnamon. <laughs> that helps. But anyway, if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe and like. And uh, yeah, share it around. How to make your own.